Dr. Brian Heberlin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy. And unfortunately, nothing seems to stay quite as well as we age as it was when we were 20. Our voice is often no exception to that. And so when we get a little older, the muscle that makes up some of the bulk of the vocal cords starts to atrophy. And that causes a little bowing of the vocal cords. And what I mean by that is the vocal cord meets well in the very front, it meets well in the back, but it doesn't meet well in the middle where most of the vibrations occur. Our brains uh, try to compensate for that weakness it perceives in the voice sometimes by squeezing extra hard on some of the muscles that are meant to be involved in swallowing and it can make the voice quality even a little bit worse. And there's a term called muscle tension dysphonia uh, that describes that problem. So sometimes vocal cord bowing or presbyphonia is a fancy term for that. Presby just means age, phonia means voice. So presbyphonia can be the underlying problem and then muscle tension dysphonia compounds on that where we're trying to compensate for that in an ineffective manner. So as I mentioned uh, a minute ago, speech therapy can sometimes help teach us to relax the proper muscles, engage the proper muscles during speech, and can improve voice quality somewhat in people with presbyphonia or vocal bowing. But sometimes it's not as effective as we would like it to be. What else can be done? Um, well, there are injection augmentations that can be done to the vocal cords. So you can inject basically a filler material similar to what can be used in cosmetic procedures. So you inject a filler material into the vocal cords that can plump them up a little bit and make them meet better in the middle. Um, that's a delicate procedure because you have to get just the right amount and just the right layers of the vocal cords. And so um, you can make voice better, but sometimes you can make it worse if you put it in a too superficial layer and that can inhibit how the vocal cord vibrates. But it is something that can be done. We usually reserve that for fairly extreme cases where people are having a really uh, you know, difficult to understand voice quality. Uh, but in summary, vocal bowing is to some degree or another something that can happen to most everyone as we age. Sometimes if you don't use your voice a lot, you're going to be a little more at risk for developing that problem. Um, in men, it'll tend to make the voice a little higher pitched. Sometimes in women, it'll actually make them cause it to have a little bit of a lower pitched voice, but overall a weaker voice uh, with just less forcefulness, less uh, ability to hear well uh, when they're trying to speak forcefully. So anyway, that's a discussion on vocal bowing and some of the things that could be done about that. Thank you.